This is how perverse this argument's become. So we can't secure the border. We can't determine who's coming here, MS-13, whatever. We can't determine if these adults are really the parents of these children. These kids could be raped, molested in any of the other forms, uh, it, in any other way. We, we have no idea who's coming across the border here. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Just come in and the hell with it? Let the local cops handle it? You can't, you can't run a country this way. The federal government's supposed to secure the borders. People want to come here. We have the most generous immigration laws in the country. We allow more people in this country legally than any other country on the face of the earth. Look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie. Over a million a year. That's a large number of people. And we don't even push assimilation anymore. And we have people sneaking into the country. We don't know who the hell they are. We don't know what they're bringing into the country. We don't know if they're gang members um, or, or criminals. And we're not allowed to know, apparently. We, 30%, they have found out so far that 30% of these children that come with these adults, those children are not the children of the adults they come with. Many of them are coyotes. Many of these kids are being kidnapped. These little girls are coming with rape kits, for God's sakes. Rape kits. They're not telling the truth about what's going on on the border. It's lawlessness. It's chaos. It's anarchy. And innocent people are being harmed. Listen to this. It's all about race. It has nothing to do with race. Most of the men and women on the border there are Hispanic on the side of the Border Patrol and ICE. They're bilingual. They're not a bunch of white people from the Hamptons. Even if they were, so what? But they're not. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.